Jeff Berry is a big Tiki guy. He wrote the four books about the Tiki, and he's probably the first guy who decoded these uh, Trader Vigs and Don Beach Combo books. Yeah? Because they, they used to, you heard about the Tiki, all this story, they used to code it and uh, to prevent it for competition. So they wrote everything in the codes. Yeah? So when you when you took a job in a Trader Vigs, you, you had no idea what you're making. Yeah? They trained you and they told you, okay, this is RAM A, RAM B, RAM C. And, this is the spicy number two, spicy number three. Okay. It was, let's say, you know, mix of cloves, mix of cinnamon. Then you had juice number one, two, three, and all this stuff. So basically, you've been doing recipe with the, with the letters, numbers, and you, you could work there for 10, 15 years, and then you left, and you, you had no really idea what was in there. You could realize it was maybe Jamaican black rum, and maybe something cinnamony. I didn't know. And this guy, the Jeff Perry, he, you, you can buy uh, his books, you know? He decoded, and basically, he realized that the Mai Tai. There was agricole as well, yeah? agricole, not the kashasa, but we use kashasa now, yeah? So it was three parts to one part of agricole ram, yeah? But it was, I thought it was an 8 euro, 18 euro 17, ram. 17, ram, yeah? Sorry, yeah. Three to one with the, with the agricole ram. Yeah. Uh, French island thing. So there was an agricole ram as well, yeah? A little bit of uh, French orchard syrup, mm -hmm. Dutch triple sec, mm -hmm. yeah? and touch of rock candy syrup, yeah? Rock candy was the thick syrup, so we use vanilla. Thick syrup which tastes vanilla-like, yeah? But all the syrup that you can make at home, you know, or in your bar, mm -hmm. you just make, you just cook your syrup, you reduce your syrup, or you make it three portion to one, really thick, and it's a little bit of vanilla inside. That's a rock candy syrup, yeah? Agricola, and touch of, so the mic will be very different than that's why, that's why the sticky drinks get completely lost because nobody ever can translate yeah? So they just went in the 1940s, 1950s, they went in a trade week, they taste something and the bar understood, okay, this is Swedish and pineapple. So let's open a bar and they just carry the name and try to make something like that. That's why 1970s, 80s, you had a million variations of Mai Tai and all these things, yeah? And nobody knew how else. The original Mai Tai. Yeah. Some Mai Tai was pineapple, another grenadine, another float of dark rum or mixture of four rum. But it was pretty simple. Okay. Pretty good. So instead of agricola, we just use one part of cashless. Shake depending on your eyes, yeah? So as long as you don't have good eyes in, uh, in your bar, it's pointless to, to do any shake, yeah? Or any shake it. Because the eyes is not good temperature, not good size, yeah? So it's not gonna work. come out of ice machine, put it in the freezer, yeah? which is cool thing, but then it's a part of your ingredients, ice, yeah? which is dilution. 
So you can double throw the knife and you shake. You don't have the dilution. Okay. So we need to think what you want to do. Okay. Understand? Huh? I used to. I used to do the same.